Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, we are going to be comparing prices between Aldi and Walmart. It is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and it just seems both of the budget grocery stores prices have been going up so much and I believe that Aldi is now more expensive than some of the other grocery stores in my area so we're gonna go ahead and go into the stores and compare prices so hope you guys enjoy so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it really helps my channel grow but let's go all right first stop is Aldi so let's see what they got going on all right so the Lovin fresh white bread here is 92 cents that's this one but the wheat bread is a dollar fifty nine so this one is more expensive or this is for the honey wheat one so the hundred percent whole wheat bread is a dollar forty five but then they have this split top wheat bread, which is a dollar thirty-five. Four pound thing of sugar is a dollar ninety-eight, and the five pound all-purpose flour is a dollar fifty-six. Here, we have the cream of chicken soup for fifty-eight cents. And then the cream of mushroom soup in the chef's cupboard is 58 cents as well. So I'm pretty sure this is their cheapest spaghetti sauce, which is $1.25. The spaghetti here is $1.95. I feel like that's so expensive. So the organic um, beef or chicken stock is $1.95, broth $1.89, the, the bone broth is $3.39, why does that feel so expensive? We have the organic black beans, so the Simply Nature brand is $1.16, and then the Dakota Pride um, black beans for $0.71, cents. some other beans. 72, 72 cents. Sliced carrots, 54. The mixed vegetables, 62. We got some diced tomatoes, 72 cents. The fancy diced tomatoes with the garlic basil, 72. But the fire roasted ones, um, the fire roasted diced tomatoes, those are 92 cents. If you wanna get the bigger can, it's 98 cents for the crushed tomatoes. And then the diced tomatoes organic or $1.72. Tomato paste is 62 cents, but I know I have another local grocery store that's only 49 cents in the same size. We have the corn, just the regular sweet corn is 54. And over there is the sweet, um, sweet cream sweet cream sweet corn cream style which is 54 cents as well this is the selection of chicken <laughs> there's like none but the price per pound is 369 for chicken breasts let's see what else we got over here oh so there is some chicken wings which is three yeah 399 per pound we got Drums, oh, the drumsticks are $1.39 per pound. They do have this brand for chicken and it's $5.79 per pound. Is that how, okay, so this one's $4.79 per pound. Yikes. We got some of the lean ground beef, which is $5.79 per pound. And then the um, lean ground beef, 96 lean ground beef is Six twenty-nine per pound. Wow, oh, the dozen eggs here are two seventy-two. That's so much. Next stop is going to be Walmart. But I also picked up the all the um, saber to see what was on sale. And apparently, I didn't check this, but avocados—they're eighty-nine cents. 
I think they've been a little over a dollar. I'm not sure, but yikes guys. So expensive to eat, but let's get to Walmart. All right, next stop here at Walmart. It's so loud in here, but yeah, so the avocados here are a dollar. 23 each where Aldi has a sale for 89 cents. All right, so we have the dozen eggs here at Walmart for $2.55. Are these 18? So an 18 eggs for $4.20. I think the best price I've seen for eggs is actually at Target. We have the granulated sugar, um, the four pounds, which is two twelve. Uh, this one is cheaper at Aldi. All-purpose flour, same five pound, is a dollar fifty-six here at Walmart. So at Aldi, it was the same price. We have way more selection for chicken here at Walmart, but let's see how much it is per pound. This one is two ninety-seven pound yeah so this ah. yeah 297 per pound for chicken breast here which is way cheaper than the chicken that I saw at Aldi of chicken drumsticks which are a dollar 64 I can't remember what Aldi was offhand but I feel like that's very similar in price all right, we got some of the ground beef here. Let's see, we even see how much it is per pound. Oh, here it is. So 5.72 per pound for this one. They do have some on sale right now too. Um, 96 ground beef, or 96 ground beef, like the percentage, and that one is 6.48 per pound. We have diced tomatoes here at Walmart for 72 cents, which is the same price as Aldi. And then we also have the tomato paste, which is 62 cents, which I believe is the same price as Aldi. So you're not really saving that much money at Aldi for these tomato products. The great value beef broth here is a dollar thirty two um, chicken broth great value unsalted a dollar sixty eight let me see if I can find bone broth here oh here's just the regular chicken broth which is a dollar thirty three bone broth here the organic is two fifty six if I'm remembering correctly at Aldi it was almost three dollars but yeah, getting expensive. Great value cream of chicken soup is 58 cents. Same price as Aldi. Let's see if we can find the mushroom. Cream of mushroom, same 58 cents. That was the same at Aldi. Spaghetti, this brand, which is, or where's the great value? Oh, here we go. So the great value brand for a thin spaghetti is 92 cents. So this is cheaper than Aldi for sure. Cause Aldi I would think was $1.95. Pasta sauce and the great value brand here at Walmart is $1.40. And that's for the, all of the great value. So tomato, basil, and garlic. Oh, it's still the same. And then also for the marinara. Traditional, I'm sorry, is $1.50 here. Corn here is the same price as Aldi, which is the 54 cents. Sliced carrots are 58 cents. Organic black beans were $1.12, and then the ones at Aldi were $1.16. And then the black beans at Aldi were 71 cents, but all the other beans are the same price at the 72 cents. Okay guys, so it looks like all the, some of the things were almost the, or they were the same exact price as items at Walmart and the chicken 
price that I saw at Walmart was cheaper per pound than what I saw at Aldi. And I noticed too that my other grocery stores in my area, so my local Meyer. so if you guys have a Meyer in town, um, they had better prices on tomato paste, tomato sauce, and diced tomatoes if you bought the Meyer brand. And I noticed, I know it was this past week, they had a sale going on those items and you could save, you know, a couple cents, but that couple of cents does add up. And it's just one of those things that, you know, I would shop at Aldi to save a little money on certain things, especially like canned items, but you're really not saving any extra money shopping at Aldi, except for the flour and like the sugar, but I mean, if you buy chicken there, you're going to be spending a whole bunch of money. So it's just crazy to go through and see the differences in both those stores. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments if your prices are the same at your Aldi or your Walmart and if you have other grocery stores local to you, if they have better prices. It's just weird to really pay attention to the prices at the stores and the prices at the different grocery stores and how they vary or how they're very similar. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and checking prices out at Aldi and Walmart. And before you guys go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.